If your website still has that insecure logo next to it and not the nice padlock that lets visitors know that your site is secure, you're going to want to watch this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an SSL certificate, install it, configure a WordPress site to use it on DreamHost. If that's something that interests you, stick around. Okay, so here we are at my site, and I just moved it from HostGator to DreamHost. So right now my server, or this web page actually, is sitting on DreamHost. And in my previous video, I showed you why I did that. I did that because uh, I was able to improve the server response time by making this move. Uh, and I'm only paying about $5 more a month to get much better hardware on DreamHost. Um, so yeah, I went from a five second server response time, I think it was 4.9 seconds down to 0.9 seconds. So that's fantastic. Uh, another reason why I moved to DreamHost is because uh, of the SSL. I wanna be able to put a third party SSL certificate on all my sites and I wanna do it fairly freely. And uh, one thing that DreamHost has that HostGator doesn't offer is uh, free Let's Encrypt certificates. So here I am, I'm gonna put a free uh, Let's Encrypt certificate on my site, and I'm gonna take you through that process, and we're gonna configure this site so that this way when people come to visit it, um, it's automatically gonna redirect them to an HTTPS version, and it's gonna have the nice green secure padlock on the top. All right, DreamHost makes this process pretty quick and painless. I'm gonna select Secure Hosting. I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom, and you can see that I have three different options. I can actually pay $15 a year for a Komodo verified SSL. Uh, I can install a self-signed one for free, or I could get a Let's Encrypt SSL, which is kind of like a, it's kind of like a free version of Komodo verified, let's say, but yeah, it's, a, it's, well, it's better recognized than if you do a self-signed, let's put it to you that way, and it's free. So I like that option. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna select my domain. You could get a unique IP, I am not. I'm gonna to agree to the Let's Encrypt Terms of Service, and I'm gonna add it for free. Now this will probably take about five minutes for it to update. Uh, they do, I guess, contact Let's Encrypt, and uh, they will get a certificate from them and automatically install it. And I'll get an email uh, when that process is complete. So I'm gonna wait for that. Okay, so I got my certificate. This is the email that says so, and uh, they're installing it for me automatically. There's nothing that I have to do, which is a really nice feature. This email is really just for my reference. The automatic installation of the SSL certificate takes about five to 10 minutes. Once that's complete, it'll say, let's encrypt SSL is your certificate type, and you can go on to the next step, which is configuring WordPress to work with this. In my experience, DreamHost has some of the best, clearest, most concise, and up-to-date documentation uh, with regard to how to use all the various features on their site. And we're gonna leverage that here. We're gonna use their process to set up WordPress so that when people come to our site, it automatically redirects them to HTTPS and uses our SSL certificate. All right, so the first step now is we are gonna to wanna to update the home and site URL in WordPress. So let's go do that. You're gonna log into your site and you're going to just click on settings. Actually, you wanna to go to the general tab, but that's gonna open up by default anyway. And you are now gonna change both your WordPress URL and your site URL to HTTPS and save those changes. Next, we're gonna make a change to the WordPress config file. So I'm using FileZilla here. I've logged into my server where my WordPress site is installed and I've maneuvered to that actual folder and I'm gonna grab the WordPress config file here and I'm gonna drag it over here. I'm gonna edit the file and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom right above this line that says, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. Uh, right above that line, you know, they don't want you to edit anything below here. Uh, if you do, then the next time WordPress up, uh, installs, it could potentially obliterate that stuff. So we're gonna go right under this uh, WordPress debug define, and we're gonna paste define force SSL, and we are gonna paste force SSL admin to true. 
this is what DreamHost recommends. I'm also going to add some additional information while I'm here. I'm going to say trust cookies only by the server. And so we're going to make sure that our cookies are um, SSL for the most part. I'm going to save the file. And then I'm going to upload it and overwrite what's on the server. Now, if the site you're performing these steps on is a brand new WordPress install, you haven't uh, uploaded any media, you haven't created any uh, web pages, you haven't done anything, haven't installed any plugins, you can skip this next step. But for me, um, my site existed prior to the move to DreamHost. And so um, I'm going to need to update all my links in the database. And one nice thing is DreamHost includes the WordPress command line interface. So I've logged into my site via PuTTY. I am sitting in my uh, website's root directory, and I am going to uh, paste this command, which says uh, WordPress search replace. It's going to look for any URLs uh, that are in my WordPress database that start with HTTP, and it's going to actually change them so that they uh, begin with HTTPS. And I'm, I've added that dry run to the back so that I can just make sure that this makes sense. It's not really going to perform it. It's going to do a test essentially. So let's see if I run this, what happens? And it said that there were 200, uh, 2,203 replacements made. So I, it, it, there are a lot of hits. It looks good. And so now I'm going to up arrow, get rid of the dry run. And I'm actually, whoops. And I'm actually going to perform that function. Now I'm going to change all those URLs. There you go. So now I've changed all my URLs that were in the database. They all now are going to begin with HTTPS. All right. Now that we've done all that, there's one more step that we have to do. And that is we have to edit our HT access file. So we're going to edit that. And essentially these are rules that when people come to your site, uh, WordPress actually, uh, put this in here. It actually says begin WordPress and end WordPress. You don't want to modify anything within here. But essentially, this kind of redirects traffic and URLs to go and point to different locations. We're going to add this to the top. And what this is going to do is uh, this is going to redirect all traffic, essentially. Anything that any website, any URL that comes to your site, it's actually going to uh, force it to go to an HTTPS version. So this is uh, what DreamHost recommends. So we're putting it. But I'm also going to add a little bit more code here. And this uh, enables HSTS, which is the uh, HTTP strict transport security, which essentially says if you've visited the site already, the next time you visit it, force HTTPS. It's a bit redundant, but we're going to put it anyway for good measure. I'm going to save those changes. We're going to write that file in. And we're going to revisit our site. I've actually populated this with uh, www.themadhermit.net and I'm going to hit enter so we could load that page and see what happens. There you go. It redirected it. It actually forced it to HTTPS. I got the nice green secure lock on it and the world is good. And just for good measure, I'm going to log out and let's try that again. There you go. So even when I'm not logged in, I get a nice green secure padlock and uh, the world is good. All right. That's all I got. I know this video is a bit technical, uh, but we're here to learn, right? We're here to improve ourselves. And so hopefully I've helped you in some way. Um, as always, I'm including a link to everything discussed in the video description below. That's going to include the, uh, you know, instructions from DreamHost on how to, how to do this whole process, all the tools I use, uh, the sweet theme that I'm using for my blog. And, uh, yeah. Um, also if I have any other thoughts after thoughts, I'll include them there as well. Uh, if you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments section of this video. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, please hit that subscribe button. And of course, more important than anything else, be kind to one another.